So hi to everyone. My name is Tom. Welcome to Tom Franklin Art. Today, I'm going to show you my gallery that's in my hallway in my house. And uh, I'm going to show you a few pieces. Uh, I was asked by a group on Facebook to, you know, put out a video showing my uh, gallery pieces. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Stick around. So we start off with some pieces um, that I painted a bit earlier. I've been working diligently trying to get the water looking right. Uh, of course, you can see here the house is not the best, but it's all a process. And uh, so I hang these up in my main hall of my house. This is one where I enjoy the foreground. The background's pretty cool. There's a good animation here. Working on getting the uh, perspective right into the woods there, a little path where you can come down and do some fishing there, you know. And then uh, this is, I think, my first snow painting. Uh, snow is very difficult for me because it always gets dirty and you have to reclaim the brushes and things like that. I think it's first snow and first path. It's a very older painting, much older painting, excuse me. Here's another one where I try to do um, um, perspective on the trees in the background, trying to make the ones a little less uh, prevalent. And as I come forward, making a little bit more um, pronounced and defined. <clears throat> Here's one I did with my with my daughter. So she picked where she wanted everything. This is where she wanted the waterfall and she wanted a red tree. <laughs> so that's what we painted there. Here's one. Here's one of the ones I enjoy. I was told by somebody, oh I, I painted the, the first painting you see in the video. They go, oh I would like to see something like that but with a sunrise. Well here you go. Here's your sunrise. Here's one I call uh, Autumn in the Ozarks. Try to do some reflections on the water. Here's one I painted on this channel. You can go back and check that out. It's a video. It's down lower. It's a couple of months ago, maybe six, eight months ago, something like that. Here's a very old painting I did. And what I liked about this one is this part right here. That's how I was able to get the water to look flat and shiny. But you can see that, yeah, the detail is not nearly as good. It takes a long time. Here's one where I couldn't get the perspective right, but I do enjoy the sunrise. Here's one of my ocean ones that I recently just started doing. They're a completely different animal. <laughs> A little more difficult for me to do, but I think this one turned out pretty good. Enjoy the, it was like a lightning bolt coming down, but it's just a little doohickeys that, you know, happen when you're, when you're out there on the ocean. Here is an older one too. Working on trying to get, I think this one was while I was working on trying to get this, this part here, where the bushes come down and fade them into the background. Good reflections on this one though. Got very good reflections right here. Here's an old, old one. Oh, but you can see at least in the front, the bushes look real pretty good. Uh, the trees, <laughs> I don't know if any tree grows quite like that. <laughs> Just kind of, you know, maybe there was a windstorm to knock it down. I don't know, use your imagination. Here is, uh, here's also a different style I was trying to do where I was trying to make the leaves. I also put like my first animal in this one. There's a bird, as you can see. There's another bird, there's another tree, there's a lake, a little fence going on here. Maybe eventually I get good enough I can put myself in some buildings in there, maybe a farm building. Here's another ocean one. I think this one's called Sailor's, Sailor something or other. Sailor Sunrise maybe? I really like this one. This is also one of those uh, black gesso paintings, just like this one, which is not so good in my opinion, but who knows, maybe you like it. Speaks to you, speaks to you. This is also a black gesso painting. And then you put your translucent color on there and you paint on top of it. This is a really nice one. I like this one a lot. A little path taking a walk in the woods. Down here we have my daughter's painting. She paints when I paint, so she enjoys painting too. Here's one where I was trying to uh, 
screw myself over, I guess you would say, trying to make it more difficult on myself to try to put this mountaintop here and try to make it, since it's such a long painting, to try to make it uh, seem far away as possible as you come forward. Let me step back, maybe you can see a little better. Got some good reflections there at the bottom. Here's one where I was trying to do some different type of clouds. This may be like a volcano's erupting back there. <laughs> Here's a real old one too. This is also a style of gesso with a blue sky in it. So I try to paint a gesso on top and then put the, uh, so it's like a mix of the two different styles put together. Here's another one of my daughter's paintings. She was maybe two. <laughs> Here's one where I was able to get the sky to go in perspective. Get the water, a little bit of reflections there. Pretty, I like those clouds. Here's, here's an earlier one. As we go up, you'll see some of the earlier ones. This is a good one, I like this one. Here's like, I think my first waterfall that I was attempting. Here's one my wife did when she said, I wanna try a little bit. And that's why her initials are dead smack in the middle. It's an uh, older one. Here's one where I tried to do a little abstract. It was like there's a cliff in the front. Try to frame like the sun in the sky there. Pretty interesting. Use a different color, I think some kind of burgundy, some type of red through here. Here's one that my wife tried too. She wanted to practice some fog. Here's one where I tried to paint a castle. Here's one where I was trying to paint a perspective with some mountains. I do enjoy this one. A little waterfall there, good reflections, and solid painting. Here's a really old one. Oh, it didn't turn out very well. <laughs> I got about 50 here in the hallway. I got a few more at the house. I got another one at a location where people can uh, buy them if they like. This is one I enjoy. It's one of my earlier ones that I thought was pretty good. Got a little nice one run on the uh, river there where it goes back could be a little better but of course everything can always be a little better so that's called art here's where i try to put a little bit of like a sunlight on top of the snow up there where it looks like it's a little shinier here's one of my first gesso paintings working on the clouds the moonlight and then here this one i believe is called Good day to fish, I'm not quite sure. I'll look it up. And yeah, that's it for now. There's another one here, this one's called Tranquility. Make sure I fall down the steps here. And yeah, this is my little gallery that I have in my hallway. See anything you like? Don't be afraid to ask me for them. Oh, there's a few more going down the steps, too. Excuse me, I didn't even show you those. This is not one my wife tried. Here's one of my earlier ones. I think it's my second gesso pain. I got about 50 of them in the hallway. I'm trying to do some cool abstract art here. Kind of reminds you of that Journey song, Wheel in the Sky. There's also one my wife did. I think this is one of her better ones. She did the background, and I helped her do the foreground. This is a snow painting, a recent one. Try to do a close-up pine tree. Turned out pretty good. Here's an early, early one. Here's also an early one. Look at the shoreline. You can see it's not exactly up to stuff. <laughs> but I, I like the mountains. They really pop. Now this next painting I'm gonna show is the one where I knew I had something. This is one of the very, very early ones. And I was like, okay, all right, you can do this. And guess what you guys can do it too. All you have to do is just keep trying. Here's a weird one. One is some yellow in the sky. Here's an early one here. Try to put a couple peninsulas sticking out there. Didn't work too well. And this is probably one you can tell. That this is one of the really early ones. You can see the white mark in the top there. It's because I was using a different easel. Wasn't a very good one. But I was, I was pretty happy about this one when I made it, Jesus, three years ago, I guess. And then we have a couple other ones, there's a snow one here. Here's a real old funky one that I was trying something in. Trying to get the, the colors to stick on the thick part and here's a, like a nice psychedelic one. I was having a good time that day. So, so that's it for now. Um, 
course, I will continue to keep painting, and um, maybe you guys can too. Discover your inner potential. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit me up. See you later. <laughs>